guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by the channel. This is Tim coming at you from the old number seven garage. Today, a little bit of a different video. We're in the camper and we've bought us a King Products uh, satellite that works with a direct TV receiver. And I'll show you what we got here. We've got the satellite, the antenna, and we've got an old direct TV receiver and all the necessary coax cable that I think I'm going to need to make all this work. So, first off, let me start off by saying uh, it's not really a how-to video, it's just how I'm going to do it. It's not necessarily to say how you need to do it. And uh, we're going to go with step by step with this and any trouble I run into, you're going to see it and we'll try to fix it. Maybe that'll help you guys out whenever you do this. But I thought it'd be pretty cool to be able to have the satellite and watch TV whenever we wanted, live TV. So let's take a look at everything, dive into this, and see what we need to get started. The first thing you're going to have to have is a direct TV receiver. Now most people don't have one of these laying around because you've been upgraded over time and you've got the DVR, Genie, all that stuff. So what we got here, I'm spinning around to the back. Model number D12100. There's several different model numbers and I can link in the description below what will work. But from what I hear, it is uh, any of the lower numbers, D12 uh, up to like 20, or 10, D10 up to D24. And correct me if I'm wrong, but anything above that is going to be the wrong signal. And I think you can buy uh, a swim filter, SWM filter, to fix all that, but I'm not gonna get into that because I don't need to do that with my application. So I got my remote control, hopefully still works, and my power supply. Now, they say in the instructions, we need a couple different variances of coax. So let's open this box up, see what we got. First thing right on the top, if you got your owner's manual and a couple other pieces of literature. So in this owner's manual, there's a real neat uh, installation. Once I lose everything, a real neat installation uh, reference guide. So this tells you everything that you need to know whenever you're putting this together. So number one is you need to put the rubber feet on it if you're not going to mount it to the top of your RV or garage or wherever you're going. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have a sh clear shot of the southern sky because that's where the satellite is going to be. and it's going to scan for the signal. What you need for your TV tells you right here. Um, blah, -de blah, -de blah. You read as you need. Uh, okay, here we go. We need a 50 foot piece of coax, a recommended, a piece of short coax after you pass through your power inserter into your receiver box. And then, of course, a AC plug in to plug your power inserter into and if you're going through all this trouble you have a power supply whether it be generator or just regular 110 so there we go nothing to it let's just get right on with it and get this thing installed okay back into the box here we've got a power supply okay that's nothing too crazy and we've got that little power inserter this basically just goes in line of your coax after your satellite back into your receiver. Got that. Next thing you got is that dish itself. And this thing doesn't weigh nothing. Super lightweight. So it did say lay it on a soft surface if you're going to put the rubber feet on. And I believe we're going to put the rubber feet on. Here's the rubber feet. Let's get it out of the bag. Bear with me. Cool. So that's a pretty cool looking unit. Now this is a, automatically finds the satellite signal. You don't have to sit there and turn it a little bit, go back, turn it a little bit, go back. Give it 10 or 15 minutes and it will find the signal on its own. These rubber feet, like I said, if you're going to put this on the roof of your RV, it says not to put these on there. Um, 
I'm not going to put it on my RV permanently. So I'm going to put these rubber feet on there and I'm going to set it on top of my RV. And hopefully I can just steal the coax line from my antenna up there and bring it straight down to the TV, put my power inserter in there to the receiver and hook it straight in. That way it gets it up out of the way. Nobody's going to steal my satellite dish. All right. So let's get with it. And these little rubber feet on, you peel them off. There's a sticky back to them. And you just put it right in that circle, push it on and do that two more times here and here. And you got rubber feet. This is your main. And then if you wanted to run another one off for another receiver, you could do that. We're just going to use this one here. So this is going to be where our co coax screws into the unit itself. And if we go back and look at our instructions, coax goes into the power inserter and then another short piece of coax to the receiver and then of course the receiver has a piece of coax to the TV and you plug this in so let's go set the uh, antenna up on top of the RV and see if we can steal that coax line going to my antenna and put it on this because that's already ran down through here from the factory to this and we'll just steal it from the back of the TV and continue wiring it up like it says on this pamphlet here, okay? On top of the RV, bear with me. I hope that it's not too windy. I'm trying to talk super loud, just using my phone to record this, so yeah, be very careful whenever you're up here. And uh, I got, we have a lot of wind out here. As you can see, there's not a lot of trees to break it up. We got a lot of pasture and it's, it's pretty windy, so. A good gust of wind could blow you right off the top of one of these, so just be very mindful when you're up here. This is what I'm talking about right here. This goes down through the antenna, into the RV, and right to the television. I'm thinking I can just steal that, screw it right onto there, because we're just going to set this thing down whenever we're camping and leave it right on top. It's weatherproof. It, it, it could ride up here and be mounted permanently, but I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. So let's screw that in there and then let's go back down in the RV and get everything wired up and see if we can get us a signal. As we mentioned, you need to have your satellite with a clear view to the south. That is south. You know? It's like they say, north, south, east, west. Okay. Don't over tighten this. Just get it on there. Don't get a wrench and break everything off and then you're screwed and back to point zero. Okay. That's tight. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> downstairs. Yeah, we're upstairs. Let's go to the in the RV. There's that wind again. So that's you could mount that anywhere. It'd be super easy. Use some lap sealant, put it on there and be done with it. But I don't, I just don't like putting holes in the roof if I don't need to. All right, let's go down there, see if we can get this work. Okay guys, we're back here in the RV. This gray coax line goes straight to that antenna up, well, up the, on the roof there. Keep wanting to say upstairs. Not a two story RV. We've got that off. Now, this is signal from the satellite. And I hope all this works. It would be really cool if we can make this work. We're gonna feed this down through here and I've got a hole right here. I'm gonna reach in there, grab it. I'm gonna hook it up to this. Okay, so I've got the line pulled through. On the back of this, it will say somewhere, what does it say? Right here satellite in. We're going to screw that into that. Okay, so now we got our satellite in. Oh, but wait. See, we're already screwing up. From the satellite, we need to put the power inserter in. So that actually needs to go in here. See? Look at me. I'm even reading directions. So, power inserter right here. It even tells you. There's the antenna. So let's take this off, put it on here. The 
this end, pretty foolproof, to receiver. It's going to go to your from your satellite jack, just like we talked about. So this is coming from the satellite. We've got that all wired in. What do we have next? Next, we have the power supply. Oh, somewhere we have a power supply right here. Power supply for the inserter. And we got to wire that into there. I'm going to have to go get me a three-way or something to split this power because I have my television plugged in like that, and uh, I'm I'm out of room. So give me just a moment. I'm going to go get a uh, splitter for that so we can get more stuff plugged in. As you can see by the green light, we have the inserter plugged in. I have just a, uh, a little deal here. It gives you six outlets. So I'm going to plug the receiver in. And according to this, then I need one more coax from the receiver, which I have, to run to the television. And then we can start testing this thing, see if everything works. As you can see here, I have with the, the red on it, I have that to the out, to TV. So we're going to take this and put it right back where we took the other one from. We're going to go right through this little cubby hole here. Tidy this all up. Let's give it a shot. Okay, we've got everything tidied up. Got that sitting in there. I just so happened to have a, uh, can you focus? A nice little spot to put that. That's cool, huh? Okay. Now we've got the TV. Let's see if I can get this thing wallered around here. You ever looked at one of these mounts? They're pretty cool. It's like a full floating deal. You can push this button here, slide this all out, and you can take it and put it in a different uh, spot. I've got a couple little mounts where you can do that outside. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's close that up. Now. If we've got power here oh yeah power on now receiver must be configured as followed make sure these one-time setting in the receiver satellites set up menu screens let's turn on the TV find a remote turn on the TV and let's go through and set the receiver settings up Back up just a little bit guys instead of running the coax back here to this I'm just gonna run a video out the RCA cables video and audio left and right and that's I mean this is a pretty dated unit other than S video that is the best quality that I'm gonna get so instead of running that coax I've just ran that through got this coming up through here here it is and we'll just hook that hook all that up now let's see if we can get us a signal okay so now we've got all that lined out we can hit our menu button because it says receiver must be configured as followed so make these settings in the receiver satellite menu setup screens hit the menu button right here la, 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 la. parental faves and setup system setup we select satellite right there and go to repeat satellite setup hit OK now it just tells you you need to hit this dash button just to be sure you want to do it and it's gonna do a little please wait deal okay so dish type you can just like that it needs to be around 18 inch hello Oh, first thing you got to go to multi switch. Then you can go back up and go to around 18 inch. Okay. Now you need to go to continue. And it's going to verify all this stuff and it'll send you a little message saying what it's going to do. So that's the first thing you got to do to set up your box or you're never going to get a signal. So let's let that do its deal and then see what kind of signal we can get. Well, this thing is running its uh, scan to find the satellite. I'm going to run in, eat some supper real quick. Hopefully by the time I come back, we'll have some TV. All right, stay tuned. So, what Check it out. Here, okay, so we got done with the setup and we've got TV. Dot com presents 
Check it out. Awesome. So, it's just as simple as that. And let me tell you something. On the, um, remember how we were, went up and I said I was going to steal the antenna coax and use it? You can, because I just did it. I went through and made sure that you could do it. And by God, you can do it. So, instead of running all new coax through here, like I said, the antenna, I just took the coax off of it, put it straight to the dish. And now everything is already concealed. I don't have to run wires anywhere. We're good to go. All right. You got any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. I just wanted to reiterate how I hooked up this dish so there's no confusion. So you can do this on your own without having to run new coax line through everything, okay? First off, take a look at the land around me. Would you have anything better? I mean, look at that front porch view. Right over there. Sunset right over here. Awesome. Okay, so let's go over here and look. I want to show you. Okay, here's our dish. Sorry for the wind. This is our line straight from the antenna. Okay. There's the antenna. Coax jack. That's what normally goes, runs straight down to the TV. 